Okay, so let's continue. This is Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 30. Therefore, her young men will fall in the streets. Why? Well, the scripture tells you that her young men are at the corner of every street like a wild bull caught in a net. You see that? So this is why it says they're going to fall in the streets. All her soldiers will be silenced in that day, declares Yahweh. See, I am against you, you arrogant one, declares the Most High, Yahweh Almighty, for your day has come, the time for you to be punished. Since you like to punish everybody, you like to destroy everything. Let's go ahead and show you some of these nations that laugh at the suffering of our people and I want you to understand that I'm not trying to single out anybody individually due to their skin color or their nationality like I said in the first part of this video Yahweh said he would choose a place where he would put his name to dwell that place is his people so Whoever calls on the name of Yahweh is his people. Each and every one of us consists of the temple of Yahweh. Do you get that? That's why I have to make these videos so that you may understand why they wanted to give you a St. Patrick's Day, a Puerto Rican Day Parade, a Labor Day Parade. All these days that are coming up, it was just to separate you as a people, to give you the vision cause confusion so that you may not be one all right one with the most high just like they want to make their one world order just like they conspire with one mind that's why the scripture says that they oppose Yahweh. they wish to do the things that the most high is trying to do but in righteousness you see that they do things in uh unrighteous ways okay they, this is how they mock the most high and so the way that the Most High Yahweh is bringing to you is that He is inviting all peoples of all languages to honor His name. This is why it says that, you know, this temple will be a house of prayer for all peoples. Because in Deuteronomy, that's what it said, that Yahweh, He will choose a place where His name will dwell. Okay, that place is us, the people today who are calling on the name of Yahweh. It is not a physical temple. Okay, so now, these people, the other nations who conspire with one mind, they are laughing at us, at the suffering of Yahweh's people. So, Ezekiel 26 and 2, Son of man, because Tyre has said of Yerowash, Lamaha, the gates to the nation is broken, and its doors have swung open to me. Now that she lies in ruins, I will prosper. Therefore, this is what the sovereign Yahweh says, I am against you too, Tyre, and I will bring many nations against you, like the sea casting up its waves. Ezekiel 25 and 3 now, Say to them, Hear the word of the sovereign Yahweh. This is what the sovereign Yahweh says. Because you say, Aha! Over my sanctuary, when it was desecrated, and over the land of Yasharal, when it was laid waste and over the people of Yahweh, when they went into exile, which is talking about the transatlantic slavery. All right, this is why, you know, I say that the people of Yahweh, most of the people of Yahweh, or from the southern tribes, they were mixed in with Hamites. They were mixed in with dark nations. You see that? Which causes confusions today. Which is why... It's not about your skin color anymore. You see that? Because some of the same people of Yahweh got scattered with so-called Irish people today. And they don't look dark-skinned. Alright, so, you know, you went into exile in many different ways. Exile is exile. See that? Anyhow, the other nations laughed at our suffering. They laughed today. <laughs> You see that? These are the nations from overseas. They look at us, Americans. You know, I mean, whoever you may be, whether you are someone living in another country that watches this video, they are laughing at you too. Because you're not following in their ways, are you? 
you're following in the way of the Most High. So, you know, it's not just about us Americans or me being American, you know, and referring these scriptures to us only. It applies to everybody, but mainly we were all exiled and scattered here to the Americas. Even some of you people who were from Europe, you were exiled from Europe and you were put here. All right, which we already explained that when we broke down where the Danites came from, okay? Why they were called the outlaws and where America got its wild, wild west makeup from. So, you know, we were mixed and then exiled. So it don't matter no more about skin color, you know? Don't matter about your nationality. Unless you make it matter, you see that? Unless you are giving it influence to rule your thoughts, then that's you. The next verse. Therefore, I am going to give you to what? To the people of the East as a possession. They will set up their camps and pitch their tents among you. They will eat your fruit and drink your milk. Why do you think the people who are there now today have set up their camps and pitch their tents among them okay so you know all these people who had a hand in scattering the people of Yahweh and causing the people of Yahweh to forget his name because that's the reason why he is so jealous of his name because when they have scattered our people and our people went to the other nations to start worshiping their gods and following their customs, they forgot the name of the Most High, making them, you know, also forget the ways that were taught to them. So therefore, their future descendants only knew false gods, false ways, false traditions. So do you see why these other nations have to pay now? You see why? It's a time of punishment for them, for the things that, that they have done to the Most High Yahweh's people. Ezekiel 35 and 10 because you have said these two nations and countries see that these two nations and countries we already talked about a hola and a holy but the southern tribes the northern tribes we already talked about how they were scattered mixed in amongst other nations you know until this day they were scattered and mixed in with many nations. This is why they're considered to be two nations and two countries. So the other people who know about this, right? Because you got to understand, Christopher Columbus, he was funded by Queen of England. And they knew, they knew, oh well, the people of Yahweh were scattered somewhere well they got to be somewhere over here that's pretty much why that whole voyage was funded because why because they have said these two nations and countries will be ours and we will take possession of them even though I Yahweh was there see that how he was there because Yahweh says that he dwells in the midst of his people his people is his temple you see that he was still there. That's the reason why the Most High Yahweh says, you know, though I sent you far away, I was still like a little sanctuary in the midst of you, you know? Let's see if we can get that scripture. Ezekiel 11 and 16, therefore say, this is what the Sovereign Yahweh says. Therefore say, this is what the Sovereign Yahweh says. Although I sent them far away among the nations and scattered them among the countries, yeah, for a little while, I have been a sanctuary for them in the countries where they have gone. Why? Well, because, you know, some of your ancestors knew Yahweh, okay? But as, you know, the times went on and as the nations continued to get scattered among the countries, they forgot Yahweh. Do you see that? Do you see why the scripture says that the the noisy city has become desolate. There is no more inhabitants. Well, that is why this time has come. Until when? Until the Spirit was going to be poured on us from on high. 
which is happening now. Praise Yahweh for that. Therefore say, this is what the Sovereign Yahweh says, I will gather you from the nations and bring you back from the countries where you have been scattered, and I will give you back the land of Yasharal again. Not the physical land, no, it's talking about he is going to gather us as a people, as one nation together again, as it is happening now with the brothers and sisters and all of you who honor the name of Yahweh, all of you who have been blessed to be part of the elect from the countries where you have been scattered and I will what? And I will give you back the land of Yasharel, not Isis, Ra, and El, not that land over there that they're fighting for, not the physical land of Isis, Ra, and El. And we have brothers and sisters that watch videos that live in these places and I want you to know that it's never an offense towards where you live you know I am not one of those people that you know that despise you who come from another land I love all foreign people see I am doing something new now it springs up do you not perceive it I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. The wild animals honor me, the jackals and the owls, because I provide water in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland to give drink to my people, my chosen. See, because that's the reason why all this wisdom and knowledge is being revealed to you. So that what? So that Yahweh says the people he formed for himself that they may proclaim my praise. See that? Praise Yahweh. So we are here now. The Spirit has come upon us from on high. Okay, so now the other nations that think that Yahweh's people do not exist anymore, well, that is a lie. We are here in the flesh and we're still beating and it has nothing to do with our skin color or what nationality that we're from. It's all because we honor the name of Yahweh. Therefore, as surely as I live, declares the sovereign Yahweh, I will treat you in accordance with the anger and jealousy you showed in your hatred of them. And I will make myself known among them when I judge you. Then you will know that I will have heard all the contemptible things you have said against the mountains of Yasharal. You said they have been laid waste and have been given over to us to devour. You boasted against me and spoke against me without restraint, and I heard it. This is what the sovereign Yahweh says. While the whole earth rejoices, I will make you desolate. And see that? So this is what's going on over there in the Middle East. They want to fight for the land. You know, they want to uh, claim to be the people of God. This is why Esau always hated his brother and was always after his blessing. Ezekiel 36 and 2. This is what the Sovereign Yahweh says, The enemy said of you, Aha, the ancient heights have become our possession. Therefore prophesy and say, This is what the Sovereign Yahweh says, Because they ravaged and crushed you from every side, so that you became the possession of the rest of the nations, and the object of people's malicious talk and slander, even down to our so-called Irish brothers and sisters. And I say so-called Irish because that's not what you are. That's what they named you. It's like I say so-called African-American, so-called Hispanics. You know, again, those were bywords, reproaches, slanders that they put on you. Why? Because you were all exiled. You were all in chains at one time. So the other nations that had a hand in doing that, they look down on you. That's the reason why the other nations, the other countries, and to this day, look down 
on Americans because the majority of us people who are here today, we were exiled here. Okay? Therefore, mountains of Yasharal hear the word of the Sovereign Yahweh. This is what the Sovereign Yahweh says to the mountains and hills, to the ravines and valleys, to the desolate ruins and the deserted towns that have been plundered and ridiculed by the rest of the nations around you. That's what you just said, right? And so now let's see. Let's see what the Most High Yahweh says. This is what the Sovereign Yahweh says. In my burning zeal, I have spoken against the rest of the nations and against all Edom. For with glee and with malice in their hearts, they've made my land their own possession, so that they might plunder its pasture land. Therefore prophesy concerning the land of Yasharal and say to the mountains and hills, to the ravines and valleys, this is what the Sovereign Yahweh says, I speak in my jealous wrath because you have suffered the scorn of the nations. Therefore, this is what the Sovereign Yahweh says, I swear with uplifted hand that the nations around you will also suffer scorn. But you mountains of Yasharal will produce branches and fruit for my people Yasharal, for they will soon come home. I am concerned for you and will look on you with favor. You will be plowed and sown. And I will cause many people, see that? And I will cause many people to live on you. Yes, all of Yasharel. The towns will be inhabited and the ruins rebuilt. Do you see that? You will no longer call yourself Irish. Native American or African 